Okay, so today we're going to have a look inside of the JBL Clip 3 portable Bluetooth speaker here. And uh, so I'm going to show you how to open this up, what's inside. And we're also going to compare this here to the also pretty new JBL Go 2. So we're going to see if there's some uh, similar components in there or not. So uh, check this out. So I'm going to start by uh, prying open the cover here. This is relatively easy if you just get into this little gap here and you're not going to break anything when you pop this off. So as long as you're careful. So uh, yeah, this is really easy. There's no screws or anything, no glue. You just pop this off. And then we're going to see here the first step here. We have the transducer on the right and the passive radiator on the left. And on top we see here the three buttons, plus minus, and uh, then in the middle is the play pause button. And now let's see how we go into the inside of this speaker here. So we start out by removing these six screws here, these Phillips screws that are on the outside here on this ring. And we're going to remove all six of those. And we have to pay a little bit of attention because we do not want to remove those screws here in the middle by the transducer, the two that uh, hold the transducer in place here. We do not want to remove those. Okay, so now we can just already just open this package here. You can see this is really easy. There's no additional glue or anything holding this. There's just a simple seal going around the entire speaker, the insides here. And now you can see here two wires that are attached to the front piece. That's one, the wire to the buttons and then here the speaker. And I'm going to simply remove both of those and then I can just take off the cover here. This is really easy. Now here we have the uh, passive radiator on the side here. You can see both of the both sides of it and the transducer. And then here on the top, this is like also a small board for the uh, three buttons. And then also here this little hole here that's for the LED, for the light that blinks when it's speaker is turned on. You see here the LED is mounted on the PCB board. And then on the button here on the bottom, inside of the speaker, we have here the connector for the micro USB charging port and the auxiliary port. This is all very well glued in so that there's no water getting inside of here. And then on the left side, we also have here the small white and black wire. This is here for the microphone. So that also that's also uh, glued in so that there's no water coming in. So then let me quickly remove here the wire, the connector for the battery. And then we have three more screws here that hold the board in place. I'm going to remove those really quick. And then we can also remove here the clip part, here the metal that you use to uh, clip the speaker to whatever you want to clip it to. So actually, this may be a good customizable object here. If you want to repaint this, give it a little bit of a different color, then that may be a good option for you to make it look different. So, uh, but now let's remove here the PCB. Let's have a look at the back side. It's not much going on there, pretty empty. And then here we have the front. And so, uh, yeah, this, I don't know if you've seen my other video here, my uh, JBL Go 2 disassembly. Maybe you want to take a look at that. But uh, here, we, let's compare these two boards here really quick. So you can see there's a lot of common parts in here. So this is really interesting. But now let's keep going here with the clip three. So on the side here, we still have these two buttons. The top one is here for the on off and the 
bottom one is for Bluetooth. And then here on the very bottom of the case, we have here this plastic piece that's glued onto the battery. Let me take that off really quick and let's have a quick look here at the stats of the battery. If you're really interested, then maybe pause the video at this point to have a closer look. And this is already it. So uh, looking inside of the JBL Clip 3. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, then please leave a comment below.